welcome back. I uh, thank you all for watching. I thank all my subscribers. And I'm just uh, picking up where I left off in that last video. Uh, I told you in that last video uh, this was going to be a process getting all this flotation foam in. And uh, well, I was right. <laughs> it's a process, and I can see it's, it's going to take some time, but we'll get there. Um, let me explain the landscaping stone right there. Of course, as you know, I'm uh, dotting a little bit of uh, construction adhesive on the bottoms of those panels as I put them in. And I just needed to lay that stone in place there to keep all that compressed until that glue dries. Because it does tend to want to spring up a little bit. Uh, those pieces are not perfectly flat. Some of them do have like a little slight bend to them. And so that landscaping stone just weighs it down. Keeps it in place, like I said, until the glue dries. And uh, so uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's not exciting, but... This has got to get done before I lay those floors down. All right, folks, I'll be back in a moment. Oh, good morning, folks, I'm back. And uh, I'm just gonna rock on with this process right here. I have about a one hour, maybe two hour window every morning in which I can get out here and get work done. And then it just gets too hot. So, now, well, let me rock on. I'll be back. Boom. Okay, past 11 o'clock, I'm starting to leak, it's getting hot, see you in the morning. Okay, I'm back once again, uh, feels like Groundhog Day. Okay, but anyway folks, first two bays are done. Nope, still there waiting for me. Oh, I was hoping overnight somehow magically all of these foam squares would be cut laid in place glued down didn't happen I'm gonna have to do it myself but now that we've got all these compartments right here done there was just a lot of little small pieces that had to be cut hopefully this will go a little bit faster now uh, because uh, these are just gonna be larger pieces in all these compartments like I said Hopefully it won't take as long to uh, cut those larger pieces and get them glued in place. All right, got to get after it. Oh my goodness, it's like deja vu all over again. We're still at it. But I think I found a faster way to do this. I had been using this uh, kitchen carving knife right here. Let me pick it up off the floor. This is what I was using to cut this foam. It worked, but it was slow. And uh, that was what was taking so much time to get all this done. And I went online, I said, there's gotta be a way I can use my jigsaw right there. And there was. I uh, found somebody, somebody's website guy said that uh, he uh, just takes these jigsaw blades, get out here in the light, and he grinds the teeth out of them and then puts a little knife edge on them where the teeth were. And I tried it and holy cow, that jigsaw goes through that styrofoam like a laser now. So I think, um, hopefully we'll get this done here within the next day or two and it won't drag on for weeks on end. All right folks, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this one panel out and I'm gonna show you what a difference this makes uh, using this uh, jigsaw blade sharpened to a knife edge. Like I said, it, it, it cuts pretty good. Here we go. Once I get the right speed, I mean, man, it just goes right through. Uh, I can feel it in the handle of the jigsaw when it kind of hits that little sweet spot. So let me get this other cut made. And we'll be done. Like I 
I said, once I find just the right RPM, man, I mean, it just cuts like hot knife through butter. All right, I just wanted to show you that. I will be back. Now, it does get a little bit warm. You can see a little bit of melting going on, but that's really very, very minimal. Uh, for the most part, I mean, these are just nice, clean cuts. And uh, a little bit going on right there. But uh, we can live with that. The uh, kitchen carving knife I was using took about three times longer than that. And uh, that's why that was taking so long to get that done. So hopefully, like I said, this will go a little bit faster now. All right. Once again, I'll be back. Okay, folks, good morning. I'm back. And, uh, well, as you can see, still got a ways to go with the uh, flotation foam. Before I continue with that, I'm going I'm to hit the pause button on this here for just a moment. I need to go ahead and uh, fiberglass this floor panel right here. And as you may recall, that's the panel that's going to slide up underneath uh, that cap right there. And so... Uh, like I said, I just need to lay down some fiberglass on this piece right here. And uh, I'm switching over uh, for the floorboards. I'm going to use fiberglass mat instead of fiberglass cloth on these floorboards. And I just kind of feel like uh, that will give me a little bit of a uh, uh, non-slip surface right there. A little bit more traction when walking around on the inside of the boat. So that, that was uh, what's driving uh, my decision to use mat instead of cloth. You know, at least for the floor panels. All right, folks, I'm going to get busy with that. i got to start mixing resin. I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so that is done. And uh, fiberglass mat, it's a little bit harder to work with. This is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier than the uh, woven cloth that, that I had been using. And uh, it prefers a perfectly flat surface, which is, again, why I'm using it on the uh, flooring. But, as you can see right here, where I had these little divots cut out. And uh, these are cut out so I can get to my uh, floor drains in the back of the boat. But, uh, it doesn't quite like to lay down in those little contours like that, like the uh, woven cloth. But we got it there, and if that does lift on me later on, uh, we can come back and fix that. You just have to uh, dab a little bit of resin in there but um, that's also going to be a stronger material the mat is uh, it's just inherently stronger than the cloth and so when I get to walking on that floorboard you know, that's a that's a piece of quarter inch plywood right there uh, we want that to be as strong as we can make it so folks we are off to the races we've got a good start on uh, fiberglassing the floorboard panels. Of course, I got to get that one laid down. I'm debating whether I'm going to uh, lay the fiberglass mat on that first or just wait until I get it laid down in there. And I think I'm going to wait until I get that large piece laid in here and uh, just work it all at one time. I think it'd just be a whole lot easier to handle. Plus, uh, we are going to add a little bit of weight to that wood with the uh, resin and the cloth. I mean, you know, that, that just, uh, that's just just common sense. It's going to pick up some weight. And uh, right now, that, that piece is fairly easy to handle. As a, remember, I'm just one person out here doing all this. Okay, folks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let that cure. And I'm going to get back on this rat killing over here. I will see you later. Okay, folks. We are past the halfway point. Okay, real quick, I'll show you how I'm doing this. I'll show you the one time we just uh, use construction adhesive, liquid nails, gorilla glue, whatever. I just put some dots on that bottom panel right there. And then, and then we just press it into place. After I have cut and fit this, of course.
Easy as cake, piece of pie. Now, three more bays, and then I'm done. Okay, we gotta speed this up. Okay, I wish I had thought of hitting that fast forward button a little sooner, but uh, all kidding aside, I need to go ahead and wrap up this video right in here. Um, in case uh, you don't know, Microsoft is getting ready to make some updates to the uh, photo app on all Windows based computers. Uh, that is, if you are uh, receiving updates from Microsoft on your computer. And uh, one of the things that they're going to do is they're going to delete the video editor in photo in the uh, photo app. And uh, they want everybody to download that, uh, that clip champ. I don't even know if my computer will handle that or not. It's an older desktop, but I do have a new computer on the way, which uh, should be more than adequate. But I want to go ahead and uh, get this video edited and uploaded. I don't know exactly when that update is going to take place, but uh, the note I got from uh, Microsoft said soon. So uh, let's go ahead and just finish this right here. I've got uh, just uh, one or two more of uh, these uh, styrofoam panels to bond in place. Uh, it's, it's down to like the last one or two here on, on the uh, outboard compartments. And uh, so, yeah, <laughs> that was quite a marathon there. Um, start to finish on this, it was about uh, two and a half weeks. I think I started this on the 13th of July. It will be uh, here in a few hours. It will be August 1st. So that kind of gives you an idea of how long this took. And it took quite a bit longer than I had hoped it would. Of course, you know, we're battling the hot weather, like I mentioned before. Uh, I have about a one to two hour window in which I can get out here and do any actual work and that's just because of the heat and we've been under these excessive heat advisories now for oh my gosh it just seems like uh, all of June and July and uh, all this week it's going to be 105 we have one day it's going to forecast it's going to be 108 with heat indexes over 110 and it's just too hot to get out here and do anything after about 11 o'clock in the morning. So uh, again, time to wrap this one up, get this uploaded, kind of just uh, racing against the clock there to get this done. And like I said, I don't want to lose all this footage right here when uh, Microsoft does that update. And uh, you know, like I mentioned before, that's coming soon. And uh, I'll have to go to ClipChamp whether I want to or not. I know absolutely nothing about the ClipChamp software I guess I'm gonna to have to learn and so with all that said in the next video I will be moving on to the flooring finally and again I am 
battling the elements here. Can't control the weather, can't control this heat. But I do thank you all for watching. I thank all my subscribers. And as always, in all things, to Christ be the glory. We will see you next time. Yeah.